All right, so let's take a look at chapter one, and it's about introduction to statistics. On chapter one, we're mainly talking about all the important uh, fundamental concepts or terminologies in statistics. All right, so first of all, um, you guys probably see a lot of polls, studies, surveys, other data data collecting tools. It's pools and then uh, surveys are most popular ones. Studies uh, for those professional um, in professionals in different fields, they use studies to get a result to come up with a certain conclusion about uh, about uh, that particular study. All right, so all those uh, typical tools I used to collect data. So this is very important, collecting data from a smaller part of the larger group. So you can learn something about a larger group. So here, larger group is what we call a population. It's the population. Smaller group is what we call a sample. And smaller group come from a larger group. And this is very common, important goal of statistics. Uh, so basically, you learn about a larger group, um, we call that population, by using a smaller group, which is a sample. By examining the data from the, some of these members, some of these members, it will be a subset of the population, and we call this a sample. So basically, you using um, use the smaller group To make the prediction about a larger group, to make the prediction of the larger group, and that's most fundamental, you know, objective of the statistics. And the term sample and population, so sample come from population. Sample is a subset of, of the population. Comes from the population. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at different ways of uh, describing the data. I mean, different ways of classifying data in a bit. Okay, so first of all, data. Data is a collection of observations, such as measurement, genders, survey responses. And so the data could be numerical, non-numerical. Numerical data. Like measurement must be numerical, right? And it could be non-numerical. Um, and typically we call it categorical if it's non-numerical data, like gender um, uh, survey responses. Okay. So data is the most fundamental element <clears throat> in statistics. So <clears throat> you always start with the data, uh, collecting the data, come up with data set, and then we go from there. So statistics is a, it's a applied science of so planning studies, experiments, obtaining data, and organizing, summarizing, presenting, analyzing, interpreting, and then drawing conclusion based on data. And so you basically collect the data, summarize the data, organize the data, and then analyze the data, and then use the data to get a come up with a conclusion about the the entire population. That's the essential uh, um, goal of the statistics. And population is a complete collection of all measurement of the of data that being considered. So population includes every single member, right? Includes every single member of the population. Every single member. Yeah. 
Sensors is the way of collecting the data from every member of the population. Um, U.S. Census Bureau usually will conduct the census Bureau conduct a survey to collect the data from every single member of the U.S. citizen. Conduct a survey to collect data. Uh, from all U.S. citizens. And this is very uh, typical sensor. And um, as you know, you know, it costs a lot of money and then human powers, money, resources. So it costs a lot to conduct su successful sensors. And sample is a subs collection of the members selected from population so you can also say that sample is a subset is a subset of the population sample come from the population sample is a subset of the population okay so then let's take a look at this example so Gallup corporation collected data from 1013 adults in the United States Results show that 66% of the respondents worry about identity theft. So right here, this U.S. Uh, adults should be about 241 million for 72,000 and 385 adults in the U.S. Okay, and this 1,013 definitely is a subset of the all adults in the United States. So this is a typical sample. So our sample consists of 1,013 um, surveyed adults and 66% will, will, will be the, we call this sample statistics, right? So the object, objective is to use the sample data as a basis for drawing a conclusion about the entire population. So if this is a good sample, which is a good representative of the population, we could say that um, generalized to the entire population, 66% of the respondents, right? 66% of the you know, adults in the United States worry about identity theft. So um, some agency could possibly publish this in a, in a newspaper or some other, you know, like magazines as, a, as a characteristics of, uh, about the population.